Hello, my name is Elliot and welcome back to another Spiral Stage Lighting video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do the Camasys Magic Q Magic HD tutorial. So now, if you haven't got the software already, you just need to hit download. Also, what's good as well, you can get the wing. Um, so you just need to press download. And so then all you would do is go on to um, the one you have. So mine is Windows and you'd press latest stable or latest better. So then it will come up with email address or username, password or save login. So if you don't already have a Magic Q Cam Assist um, login already, you just need to put sign up for a new account. So when you've done that, I don't really need to do that at the moment. You need to open up the software. So um I don't um so as it comes up it should say continue show or pixel map demo or etc. So what I've done for now is I've gone on to Project HD demo and then just programmed my own stuff in because it's you know it's on Magic HD and plus my laptop's got a bit of a problem patching um stuff like that. So it was already patched in so I, I did that and then saved it as a normal show. So, um, I'm not really as well sure how to patch media servers and Magic HD stuff in. But um, hopefully if you watch another video on YouTube, hopefully you'll find out. But today I'm just going to show you how to patch them and stuff like Not patch, um, program them in, stuff like that in the actual desk. But um, also Magic QPC is also a lighting controller. So it's mainly a lighting controller, but I'm going to be showing you the Magic HD first. But then um, I'll hopefully show you on how to patch lighting in and program stage lights on the software. So let's get into it. So um, let's, we want to put our own media on, so it'll come up with media like this. And so then if you wanted to locate them, oops, um, <laughs> sorry, um, you just need to go on to layer one, sorry, and patch it in. Not patch, I keep on saying patch, and I've said patch loads of times in the quartz tutorial for some strange reason. When it's supposed to be program, which is, you know, you know what I mean. So then um, I've um, added some of my own media already, let's say, you know, like this for now. But also I'm going to be showing you on how to patch in your own media as well. So let's say you made your own, or you downloaded one off of YouTube, or you just did a little video with your mates. And then you just wanted to put it on a projector, or as well, if you did program a show, you you know you just want to um, add some effects in like this, then you can do that. So I'm gonna be showing you on how to program it first. So let's go back to media and go on Magic HD. See, there's nothing in our programmer at the moment, but when we press locate, so hang on a second, ah. Um, press lock it and then you see when we go on to programmer it says something's already in it so when we um let's say we wanted to select our own media for an example so let's just say water for now and so then we wanted just to patch that in so what we could do is we could just hit record name it something so at the bottom here it, um let's call it water for now and then we'll just put it on the slider I'm just going to show you on how to insert your own media. So all you need to do is just, just stay on media for now. And um, then you want to patch it, not patch, pro. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk today. I've beaten um, school and we've been doing things I don't understand. But yeah, um, today let's just um, insert the media. So let's say we went on to here and we wanted to... Sorry, let me get rid of that. Continue. Sorry, so all we would do is go on to our um go on to the file and we want to select something that we made. So let's say um we go on to media and so then we've got loads of videos. So this video let's say this video looks really interesting let's say for example and we wanted to program that in to our lighting desk so all we would do is simply press copy or just move it like this and so then we put that down and then we go on to magic qpc 
gone to convert and then we'd create a new one but I've already created a new one and it just put a zero 12 you need to put the number because if you put zero one it zero zero one it won't work because from zero zero one to zero zero nine that does belong to the desk so you can't really do that so we can just press paste or we can just again insert the um, video we want to so I just put that in for now just continue so then as it loads in it will say the name but you do need to change the name so let's say uh, we, we do so you need to do it like this what I'm doing now so 001 underscore press enter so then it will say and then you need to press continue and so then as that's doing its work when we minimize that and then we're going to magic key PC it should say converting one and um, which means it's converting a me media that you've put into the desk so yeah while that is loading i will um show you this part so layout one is technically can it's this is where what you've programmed in this is your positions this is your colors and this is your gobos and beams if you wasn't doing lighting so now um that that is complete now all we would go on is media just lock it and so then we go on to our media go on to the media folder we put it on so as you can see it's on 12 and you can see the media is actually showing on the media server right now so as well like that's doing that you can add all sorts of effects in so let's say mm, i don't really want green that, that to happen you see you you want you don't you downloaded that and you can actually change the color of that actually. so if you went on to color you could change it let's say to blue you can't really see it but yeah you can just again put green which was it before and you can put red but if you put all of them on and it will be it will turn green because that is what it came on so again you can add effects as well so you can have you know stuff like um you can't really see that you can have like um you can have a posteris effect i think that's post i think that's posteris colorist and stuff like that but um, for now, let's just have a normal effect on that. Just press locate again. And go on to media again. Layer 1. So as we've got that in, let's say we wanted a mask, for an example. So we've got mask. And then you've got all sorts of things like a star, got just a square, you've got that. And also what I kind of like as well is because you've got different ones, it'll do shapes and stuff. And also what's good as well is you can actually insert, like say, a logo. So I um, recently did, uh, well not recently, this was last year, I, um, it will happen this year again, called Sumo Festival. And um, I was thinking of having media this year, so like having lights and media. Um, so one of the crew members will be doing media and I'll be doing lights. So let's say we wanted the actual logo to be in there. So what we did, would do is go onto the me mask. Me technically, I imagine it as a media folder, so then we've gone to Suma. You can kind of see it, but you can, you know, you can make it so oh gosh you can make it so you can't really see it with that one but let's change effects oops um so you you see you can kind of see it there then but also what because on the image when i actually downloaded it was black and white so or you can just photoshop it to make it black and white if you wanted to and so then we can go let's go back on here so you can see it better with that I can do that. You can just do anything, really. It's that that works with it. That definitely works with it. And so then, like we've got that, we can change the mask, and we can let's say we can do full screen or something like that. 
we can change how it looks so the flips and stuff so also as well you go onto layer one you've got a magic hd you've got an add effects position and let's say you want to do a circle so you can see the actual words are doing a circle so let's change the size of that so it actually fits in the screen so let's say you want that as people are coming in on the screen you just wanted that and also the actual logo is green so i can change the video inside the mask if you know what i mean so if we went on to media we went on to media again layout one and then again we'd select that and also we can change the colour like I said earlier ago so I can just have it green so then it's actually doing the um, the logo's um, original colour and also it's actually showing the logo as well which is really good so let's say you could have that as a home effect so let's say you wanted to program that in check in the programmer that's what you've got in I think yeah that's what you've got in so you've got a circle and then you've got the head name and stuff like that and so then you press record call it home and then you'd press one of the playbacks and then you press delete and when you put that up it will show you the home and um, so it will show you the thing you just programmed it and um, so also what I'm actually good I'm really appreciate of um, as well is uh, the last video I did on the quartz I also know how to do cue lists now so I'll be showing you how to do cue lists on the quartz soon and also on cap uh, I'll be using the capture software I just want to say thank you because we've got I know it's like you might be watching this video like a couple of years after and we're let's say also in like four thousands of views now um it's actually got so like right, right now 2016 286 or seven views and five likes which is really appreciative and we've just zoomed up to 10 subscribers which is also really appreciative so we know that we're helping some people out there on how to do media lights and etc so i hope this video helped you also check out the other videos um on how to do magic hd magic qpc and um also don't forget uh, also in the description will be our website details uh, www.spiralstagelighting.wordpress.com our email and we'll also put the camasys um link to download the software um so you can download it so i hope this video helped you thank you for watching